Topsy official baseball card of Major League Baseball. Andrew Curtis is here. Andrew first wants to say something because he's from Colorado, but you've got relatives here in yes, St. Louis. Yes, indeed. Happy birthday to Hannah Jensen. How about it's that? It's her day today, and happy birthday to you. That's great. They know you're here, don't they? Absolutely. Well, now everybody knows you're here, and you're going to be at Ballpark Village tomorrow? Yes, indeed. Both today and tomorrow. Uh, we'll be active from about uh, 1 o'clock until 8 p.m. Uh, for the Cardinals Twin Series. So we're very happy to be here. Yeah, even the guy on the train is excited to hear I that. know. I'm sure he'll be down there engineering something. So people can come down, and they can visit, and you've got cards. You're not going to give out these janky uh, Martin Kilcoin cards, are you? You know, we tried the sportscaster thing and just didn't ever people catch on for that, us. Yeah. No, but uh, we're giving away... There. Wonderful little sample packs here. Oh, those are great. Kids, adults, and everybody, come on by, stop, and we'll give you a sample pack. Uh, we have our little photo frame here, so you can pretend you're a baseball card. Take a picture there, borders behind the camera. Do I look like a baseball player? Maybe a manager or something. <laughs> Yeah. The, be the best part that we'll have actually up too is in case I accidentally give you some like Chicago Cubs or something. Yeah, I don't want We that. will have a whole take a card, leave a card wall. So you can take what you don't like and switch out for what you do. You talk about the, the, the worth of some of these cards. I mean, I, I remember back 1954, I had a, a Hank Aaron, uh, Milwaukee Braves. I destroyed it. I destroyed all my cards, you know, and I wish they're mm. probably worth a lot of money today. It's amazing what some cards have done, especially since the pandemic, you know, when we had a lot of time inside, a lot of time to go dig through the basement and find yeah. how much the value of these collections has actually again grown just because public interest has renewed so strongly now that we've had time to kind of go through and remember what we do. And the cards increase in value once they're graded as well. Absolutely. Not only when they're graded, um, but also if there was you know, maybe a misprint, different limited releases, things like that. And, you know, the longer it's been now since those times of our youth when we had them, the more valuable they've become. Do kids still collect cards or is it mostly the dads and grandpas? You know, it is, I'd say, about half and half because dads and kids are both extremely interested still. And it's a good thing for family time. Very much To teach so. them how to do something like that. Who? who? glued all these on here. My goodness, you so must have been busy. Our poor guys in the warehouse, it took them a little over two weeks to get this, and they are actually real baseball cards. Uh, it's a little double layer adhesive, and then one at a time with a little bit of vinyl over the top as well. Look at that. So we're about uh, 4,200 miles into the tour so far, and starting to see a little sun on the cards, but still looks They're pretty good. a little bit, yeah. <laughs> So you're going to be at Ballpark Village tomorrow at what time? Uh, both today and tomorrow. Oh, today too? Yes, okay. sir. From uh, 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. All right, so check them out. And nobody goes inside. It's all outside. That's correct. Yeah, everything fully, you know, lots of distance. Have a little cornhole, card wall on the back, photo frame, and we'll be there giving away cards for everybody. Fantastic. Well, have a happy birthday with your family here in St. Louis. Very much looking forward it's to Hannah to Jensen's birthday. And, and make sure to go to Ballpark Village and have this done. Have a picture taken, too. Have more than one. The whole family can step in there. That's a big space, and we appreciate it. 